Hi there. Um, I'm making this video just to show you that two dams can be placed on one canal or river as long as there is are certain things parameters met. The dams have to be on two separate levels. You can see that this dam is set at a level of uh, 157 feet and this dam is set at a level of 243 feet. I'm talking about the level of land that the um, the level of land that the dam is attached to on the top. Both of these dams have a dam have a canal bottom level, the bottom of the canal where the dirt would be if there was no water uh, is at six feet here and here and here all the way up um, and they work just fine as you can see if I can get it to click I'm getting 1600 megawatts on this one which is the most you can get and I'm getting 1600 megawatts on this one which is the most you can get also uh, even though there seems to be a little flushing of water here, which I've protected the rest of the game from with this wall of dirt, which I'm, in order to keep one of these things from flooding, because it will when you first make it, uh, <clears throat> it will overflow about two or three times while the water's flushing back and forth until it gets settled. And so you need this high wall. Um, you also need the high wall on the other end, all the way to the ocean, um, on this particular piece. Now I'm going to show you uh, the map that I created to put this on so that you can see w how I actually got this flow of water to, to go. It's not coming from the ocean. It's coming from two lakes. I'm going to put you on pause now and take you to the, just the map. This is the game that um, I went into, that I created from the map. And all I've done is put these two canals on it. That's it. I've done nothing else. There's no electricity. There's no water uh, being given to it. There are no roads going to it. There are no people in it. All I have done in this game is put in the dams and they're working and they're producing according to this thing up here they're producing <clears throat> 3200 megawatts which is way more than you will ever use for nine squares of city so it can be done if you needed two of them you can put them in you just have to have a level at the top that is the levels that I gave you and make certain that the bottom of the canal is at about six feet. That way there's enough difference between the bottom of the hydropower plant, the dam, and the top of the dam. And that's what gives you the pressure that gives you the megawatts, is distance up and down, not distance across, just distance up and down. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to put you on pause now. I'm going to take you over and show you the map so you can get a better idea of how that works. Okay, we're in the map editor now. We're in, in the uh, tools section where you can make your maps. I created this one. I'm going to load it up for you now and show you how we started it, this out. Let me just put you on pause while this thing's doing its thing. Okay, so now we're in the map that I created in order to uh, have something to put these dams on. And you can see from the map, this I couldn't show you in the cities because in the city you can't see past this boundary very well. It's all kind of foggy and, and you can't get this much tilt to it. So you can't actually see that these lakes are up here or that they're... Um, Let's get this thing going here so you can see the water flowing. The water is flowing out of these two lakes into this canal, comes around, and I originally had, I was going to put in three dams, but this top piece here, if you go down here to this little square and 
click on the terrain height, you'll see it's 321 uh, feet. That's apparently too high. When you try to put a dam on it, it says it's too high. So I only put one on this lower one and the one below it. Um, and those two work just fine. But this is, this is the game that I created it from. This is how I made it with two lakes up at the top flowing down into it with a, uh, and the way that you make this work is you have to have your lakes at a level way up above the canal. Um, you can see here that I have huge waterfalls coming down out of these lakes so that the water can't back flush into them. That way it doesn't stabilize itself. It keeps running just as if it was coming down a river. <clears throat> and you need that. Okay, that's it. That's the end of this video. I just wanted to show you how that works. I've also got one up here that someday I might use up at the top. You can see it. I've got two more going. Okay, that's it. Uh, I hope this helped those of you who want to know how to make a dam. And um, I'll try and make some more later. Bye.